You know, it's funny. I know what you're thinking. But anyways, I'm out at the grocery store and I'm just full of levity. Jocularity on this Monday afternoon. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, it's 72 and sunny here in the suburbs of Salt Lake City, Utah. Woo! So, yeah, people don't know how to take me, man. So that's probably why they just leave me. But I was just ripping it up in the grocery store today. Just ad-libbing, being a nut job. You know? I'm telling you. Some of these people are... They're innocent enough. You know? I had a friend of mine. He's unemployed. He's got pretty good benefits, you know? And uh, this woman offered him a blowjob. And he says, no, I'm going to have to pass on that. I don't want to screw up my benefits with the state. Okay. Yeah, but, you know, it's just, I wish sometimes somebody would record me just live in action because shit just comes out of nowhere with me, you know. Shit normally comes out of people's butts, but I'm not normal, and we all know that, and that's what we, we've so learned to love and admire about you, Mr. Scott, Mr. Professor of something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. It's just... I, I have no idea where it comes from two-thirds of the time. It just... I, I just live on the moment, and it's like I take what people say, and I turn it around and make it really, really funny. Or at least I attempt to, you know? But, uh... I don't know. What are you guys doing today, huh? Hey, I, was, I did some civil service today. I, like, took all these trash cans here of my neighbors and, like, put them back up around their house. Yeah. Because, you know, it's just a Christian thing to do sometimes, right? Open sesame. I command thee to open. Get your ass open, hun. Let's see if I can do this in two-wheel drive. If not... Oh, come on. Come on, baby. Oh, God. The rear end went. Woo! Cool. Nice. All right, let's try it again. Oh, fuck. I'm wedged on the fence. No way. Oh, cocksucker. All right, kids, this is where it gets fun. Okay, now let's see if this will work. Otherwise, I'm going to put it right through the fence. Look. <laughs> yeah. Don't drive into the car parked in the garage. Just don't do it. You can think about it. Just don't do it. Just be, be just, okay. Woo! See? It happens all the time. I'm going to turn down this heat, man. It's like an incubator in this mug. Oh, I think I gained, or rather, I lost five pounds just coming home, running that heat. But yeah, man, it's good. It's good. It's really good. And uh, my nose is not walking. It's running. It needs to slow down. It's like, you remember when we were kids? You know, no running in the halls? I remember one time. In junior high school, we had it was a two-floored school, you know, and I was on a class down on the first floor, which was like ground level. I guess, I guess the how the school was kind of like on a little bit of a hill or something. I don't know, but I was running down the hall. I was late for class, and I'm coming around this blind corner. Well, it turns out some other student, some other pupil, was late for his class, and he was coming around. The other way. Guess what happened? Boom. I mean, wham. Head on. No time to hit the brakes, man. Books go flying. I stumbled. He, I knocked him flat on his ass. And he looked up at me, and I looked down at him, and he's like, what happened? I said, I don't know, man. I was late for class. He said, so am I. So, I picked him up off the floor. We went out back and just decided to blow the class off because... I don't feel tardy.